Barr and Jordan. We'll let Coach do a brief opening statement, and then we'll take whatever questions you have. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm, I'm excited. Two reasons. I just got to meet the Kim and Matoma and Alonzo Morning. That was exciting. Um, and just excited for our our guys. You know, obviously, um, you're going on the journey of a season. There's ups, there's downs, um, but and you got to keep your spirit up. You got to keep believing in each other. And it, you know, it might not have been the prettiest uh, performance, but you know, they just had to fight for each other and lean and lean on each other and find a way to grit it out at the end. Uh, guys had to step up and hit big shots early and, and some big shots late. And I thought our bench was tremendous, uh, just with their energy. And so just just proud of this one uh, to come on the road. And I thought they were playing really well at this time. Uh, so to come on the road and get this one is a, is a big one for us uh, moving forward. Coach, talk about your faith in, in number three. He had a, a rough stretch. I think he had a missed a front end of one on one turnover, shot clock violation, whatever. But he still stuck with it and made big winning plays at the end. Yeah, no, so, some of that was on uh, on us as a staff. We weren't we weren't as organized. Uh, so he got stuck out there with the ball. Then, um, you know, he's going to make some, he's going to miss some. Uh, same as, as any of our guys, we're going to keep coming back to him. We believe in him. Uh, so Kamar had the two fouls in the first half that, that kind of sat him down. Um, but he came through late, you know, for, for his team uh, and his teammates, you know, kept believing in him, kept going to him. Did their changing defenses in the first half kind of put you on your heels? Yeah, I thought we were stagnant against the zone. We wanted mm -hmm. to attack it better. Um, you know, they have great length. And especially, you know, when the uh, smaller guards come out and they sub in, they get they get longer uh, in that zone. And so uh, we had some good looks, but some opportunities that we missed. Just you know, I think the length we shied away for for a bit. Um, and so you know, we'll, we'll work on that and see it better and use the film to, to grow. Coach, you guys were um, up by just two, I think, like four and a half minutes to go. What does it say about your team's poise that you were able to hold on? Especially, they had their chances to. Um, yeah, no question. I thought, I thought um, again, you get to that point in the game, and we've, we've been there, you know, a, a few times this season, and uh, a couple times we've gotten it done, a couple times you don't. Know, I think you know, that separates your season when, when you, those games right there, when it's one possession, two possessions, four-minute media is there. Uh, and I thought we had to get some, some big stops. I thought we had some good wall-ups at the rim that affected them, made them miss. Uh, you know, they're, they're hard to keep off the glass, but I thought when we needed to late, Right, we got big ones, and then guys had to deliver on the other end to uh, to keep us in position. You guys helped Jesse go down to two of eight shooting. What was the approach today? What was the execution? What was the difference? No, I, extremely proud. A lot of credit to uh, Coach Emerson Campin, uh, who, who came up with a great game plan. Uh, I thought our big guys fought like crazy to keep him from catching the ball deep in the post, which you know, he's so long when he gets those catches, it's hard to defend. Uh, and then um, the way we were rotating based on the game plan took some things away with his pick and pop options. And uh, these guys executed it. So Joey and Nate were, were unbelievable fighting them in there, you know, one on one, uh, especially late. You know, Nate did a good job, you know, making making them miss one, miss a couple. Um, and like I said, Coach Camden deserves a lot of credit. Coach, by the same token, to hold James Akinjo to to two points, you know, when he comes in every game, thirteen or so, fourteen. Uh, how impressive was that defensive performance? It, it's huge. You know, I, I I think they're really good. You know, in terms of there's a ton of uh, options and places for them to go. You know, you're looking at. A guy like Pickett or Blair uh, that you know they can get going, and obviously McClung and Akinjo, you know, there's a lot of weapons. And it's hard to stop all of them, you know, all on the same night. So you kind of got to choose what you're willing to live with. And again, uh, Coach Campin and these guys with the, the defensive game plan uh, to kind of slow Akinjo down. You don't know that he's going to end up with that type of uh, output, but you know there was a lot of attention there for sure. Ball, when talk about Akinjo's defense <clears throat> on you, particularly in the second half, and then the help that he that he, he enjoyed, they really were rotating and trying to wall off and make it hard for you in the second half? Uh, yeah, he's a good defender, so, um, you know, he just played good. Um, it's making me go through him. Uh, he's pretty he's pretty physical for uh, to be a freshman, so uh, he's got some good um, physicality to him. Jordan, I believe that you came close to transferring to George Stone back in the day. Um, how close and how were you able to shoot so well today from behind the arc after, I believe, only making two of your past 17 from behind the arc? You know, just moving on and uh, just thinking about the next shot. You know, I came in this game not worried about everything that happened in the last games that I played. And I, I came in with confidence and gave us a boost in the first half. And I think that it gave us momentum to go in the second half and make it a push. Jordan and Kamar, how do you look at uh, you know, your recent stretch lately of a two-point win, you know, immediately after three losses and, and try to remain poised and, and composed down the stretch here to make sure that it doesn't become a... You know, here we go again kind of a situation. Uh, yeah, so uh, we just, you know, like you said, just continue to stay poised. Uh, we just have that keep coming mindset. Um, you know, it's 
hard in practice. We had great energy uh, leading up to this game, and um, guys are just, you know, they're just hungry. They stay hungry. You know, we mess up. We're trying to get the next one right, and we're just eager to get the next possession right uh, each time. Um, yeah, I think for us, we're just taking six games at a time. You know, we're trying to get back even, and then for the next stretch, come out strong and learn from our mistakes in the first two segments that we had. And you each got uh, you know, your first look at Mac McClung because uh, you missed the, the first game. What kind of challenges did he present for you tonight? Hey, he's a, he's a he's a good player. Um, you know, obviously <coughs> we didn't see him in game one, and uh, just watching him on film is. You know, the, the confidence and the aggression that those two uh, freshman guards play with for you know their, their age uh, is impressive. And, and so he, he kept a minute and got going. And when, he, when we had a, a lot of attention on the other guys, uh, Kenjo and, and Goban, and um, you know, like I said, they're, they're hard to, it's hard to stop them all. And, and he's a good option for him. He's a good player. Coach, earlier in the, se- in the Big East season, at least, you struggled offensively. Do you think you guys are turning a corner that you're actually able you know, to put buckets in a uh, Add up buckets in, in in the scoreboard. Yeah, I think you know some of it is you know you, you just look at are you getting quality shots uh, and if we feel like we are then you know our guys work and work and work like crazy to to make them. We had some finishes at the rim tonight that uh, I thought we could have you know we could have made and, and and we missed and probably their length has something to do with that. But I think we've been getting you know decent mm-hmm. looks. Uh, we've kept ourselves in games defensively, uh, but there's always room for improvement. I was proud that you know we had 13 assists tonight. The ten toner was not so excited about, uh, and so we gotta we gotta keep working. Has Tucker raised the bar now that he scored 14 and a half? Is it, would that be expected? I, I just think it's you know play good basketball. Uh, George is a good basketball player. You know these guys play the game uh, the right way. I think they like I said they're connected and believe in each other, and so um, but there's a confidence mm-hmm. that we that we need them all to have. And I thought that was a big step for Jordan. Uh, tonight, Paul Jorgensen, you know, last game and tonight to just come out and play with the confidence that, that we believe in them and, and believe in themselves and don't second guess things. Coach, did you do something different between the first game and the second game? Because it seemed like you got a lot of offensive looks in the first half wide open. Was there things that you changed in your action? Uh, you, are you on the Georgetown staff? <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I can't give you all, all those. No, I think, uh, you know, our staff is, is great. They work so hard. Uh, so Coach Jeff Myers, you know, studied like crazy the film of, of Game One. Uh, Coach Camden with the defense, and, and Coach Lowry with with matchups and how we wanted to, you know, who we wanted to match to certain guys. And and you know, a lot of credit goes to, to those guys. Jeff, you know, dissected some things in our offense and saw some opportunities that uh, on film that, and we put in a couple of actions. And, and uh, it always looks good when it works out. Do one more if anybody has it. Works for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.